plaintiff, Shea Fuller, dated the defendant after they met on an online dating app. But he turned out to be a cheater and a liar. Shea claims while together the defendant got busted trying to solicit a prostitute. And she's suing him today for rent and a lease termination fee because he moved out of their apartment without notice. Defendant Shani Asbury says dating Shay was the biggest mistake he's ever made. Shani claims Shay is a drunk who was physically and verbally abusive, and that's why he was forced to move out of their home. Shani is countersuing Shay for emotional distress. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Okay, Your Honor. This man here will sell you a dream and come back and steal it like a thief in the night. Like, for real, no lie. When he moved out, this is how he dealt. Everything gone. Got pictures of it. Not only that, he lie, he cheat, and he steal. He lied to me the whole time throughout the relationship. He was cheating, and then he gonna steal my time. When did the, <laughs> when did the relationship... <laughs> When did the relationship start? It started April of 2015. All right. And what was uh, so bad about it? Because we, first off, we met online, on an online dating app. So during the whole relationship, that's where he stayed at, was on online dating apps. No, no, that's not what we're going to do. We left it alone, so he say, but he, he never left it alone. How long after uh, going together did you move in together? He moved me in two months later. Two months what later. Was he living before that? He had his own place? He mm -hmm. stayed in an apartment. I stayed in a house. And he decided he wants to be the man and move me in and let's take care of all these bills. And all you got to do is feed me. So that's what I did, fed him and why he paid the bills. So then he, um, like I said, he still want to be online, on the different chat lines and everything. So he still didn't act right? No. Even not after only you that. were feeding me? Mm -mm. What were you cooking? Not only that. Everything. <laughs> everything. He was eating everything from roast greens, potatoes, everything. He was eating it. Why he online? He all, he on Craigslist, act like he buying thing things. I'm like, is he out here buying thing thing? Is this what he got going on? Now that's a slang so, for something else. Yeah, right. that right. thing thing. He know what it write is. Write it down. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm, right down I need to know all slang and hip language, so or fly language. So he said he ain't buying no thing thing. But, but, but look at here, Let's I'll go and Google is. him. What are you talking about? And look it up. Oh, here go, here go, here go. Thing, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he is buying thing thing. Here you go. Here go article see. where he got busted for buying thing thing. <laughs> he said it wasn't him. You made the paper. Oh, <laughs> getting thing thing. An undercover officer who posed as a prostitute arranged for the men to go to a room in an unnamed hotel where they thought they would meet a prostitute. Instead, they met police detectives who arrested them, police said. They were booked that into thing, the huh? Clark County <laughs> Jail. <laughs> the sting began at noon and ended 9 p.m. While they nabbed a total of 15 suspects looking for thing thing. <laughs> 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 Didn't say that. A total, of a total of 15 suspected Johns. The detective said they were unable to keep up with the high number of responses to the advertisement. Ooh, thang, thang, yeah, well. And, sir, you're listed. Yeah. Yeah, what? Yeah, I was listed. Why? Because I was there. Okay. Oh, so we tell the truth, Lord. He said, he said that wasn't even him. I'm going to have to believe what he says the rest of the case, Boy, man. cut it out. We're going to see by the time it's over, though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. That's where the rent money went, obviously. But right, right. He, he buying thing thing. He couldn't afford it no more. Shoot. He tried to, you know. So right? let me get some background from you. First off, like she said, we, we met online and it was the worst mistake I ever made. Like, no, second dating, worst. Second, you're right, absolutely right. Right, worst. right, right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> because. Boy, because I met her, you know, we met online. Let her tell it. She ran across some financial hardships. Might have been playing me from the start. I don't know. But she couldn't afford where she was living. So she has a daughter that's excellent, doing everything that needs to be done and then some. How old? She's 20 now. Good. She's 20. She's going to college. No kids. Yeah. No, And she, she's doing everything. So 
I told her, like, look, it's just me. I live alone. You're more than welcome to come stay with me. But we had an arrangement. She was supposed to go to school, finish the cosmetology because she's a... The plaintiff. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She was supposed to go to school, save her money. Six months, we were supposed to come back and assess the situation. It wasn't supposed to be a permanent. It was never tight. We just were so in love. She's a drunk. She's what? She's a drunk. That's extremely abusive verbally and physically. She got into fights with my sister. How often would you be subject to her abuse? Every time I was woke. <laughs> Every time I was woke. And then the lies come in, Judge, and then the lies just came in. Yeah, so he here buying thang thang. Here you go. That's an article where he got busted for buying thang thang. Plaintiff Shea Fuller says while dating the defendant, he got busted trying to solicit a prostitute. He sounds very credible. You led off your testimony saying that he moved you in and agreed to take care of everything. Mm -hmm. And I did. Which is highly unusual. Mm -hmm. And he says he uh, agreed to do that because he wanted to be helpful both to your child and to you. Okay. So he's a very credible person to me. I don't oh, know okay. what went wrong. What else did he do wrong? Basically, that's it. Just he want to buy thing, thing. He want to talk to females. You know, he want to be Were you getting drunk and abusive? We both got drunk and we both was abusive to each other. So let's tell that part of the Not story. True. All right, ma'am. How does he owe you? Because he moved out in the middle of June. He moved out in the middle of June and just left me and my child. Well, he first off, he broke up with me in May um, via text message, like a little coward. And then you he have said, it. What did he say? Oh, here we go. And, you know, he says that we didn't have to move out. We didn't if have to go anywhere. If you were physically abusive, yeah, he didn't want to come around and tell you, just mm -hmm. so we're clear, we are no longer together because I don't want to have you kind of, your kind of disrespect in my life. The only reason I'm not asking you to get out of my house is because Dee and her schooling. Mm -hmm. Just know that I am going to start talking to and going out with women. No need for a response because I have nothing else to say to you. He's uh, saying that he's leaving you because you've been disrespectful to him. Right. Just like he's saying today. But then he gets on Facebook and tell everybody on Facebook that I was supposed to have moved out and I, and I, didn't, I wouldn't move out. What was the agreement on rent? He paid all the rent. All right, so how are you suing him for rent? Thank you. Because he... What rent are you suing him for? For the, for the... So I can... I'm suing him for the three months, for the month he moved out, the three months to move out, and then for the month of the rent for me to move out. Can... Go ahead, sir. I just want to say, too, like, uh, I moved out of my place. It was my That's place I brought her that. into. That's exactly what I said. To get away from it and to keep my freedom, I moved out. Like, it's like I come in, it's like I'm... I won't say I was nervous to go to sleep, but it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah, and it's not funny, folks. Yeah, I mean, it, you it, all don't laugh when the women go through it. And so uh, we need to understand that men deal with the same thing. Uh, you have any evidence, anyone, about the uh, abuse you suffered? Because your defense is, let's see what you have, is this is what you would call a constructive eviction, even if you did have a lease together, meaning the <clears throat> conditions were so bad that you had no choice but to move because of either your health, your safety, your welfare. Right. But in April, when we had our fight, when he fought on me, I was trying to leave. Who has any police reports? He didn't want me to leave. Nobody, because no All one All right, what happened in April, sir? Uh, in April, she came in as usual, drunk. I asked her about schooling. This was, I was at work. It started via text. She told me, oh, I'm, I'm just here laying up watching TV. I'm like, yeah, but it just seems a little lazy. That was the wrong word to use. She said he was blowing my phone up, sending a bunch of texts. So I just deleted everything, blocked her from the phone. And when I came in, I was just like, uh, we done. I done done too much for you and I've been good to you, so I'm out. That was in May, Your Honor, when all that happened. In April is when me and him had a fight because uh, some female was texting him, asking him, was he at home? So what'd you do to him? I, I, I act like I was calling her on the phone. And so he said, I hope she tell you something, hope she said something you don't want to hear. So he got mad. I hung up the phone because he really thought I was talking to her. I hung up the phone and he got mad. He jumped up and he's talking all crazy. So at that time, yeah, I called him a B word and he got mad. So he choked me and then he um, took me out. We ran outside. We was outside and he was slinging me around outside and we ended up back in the house and then he choked me again. 
So this after never that, happened. You never put your hands on her like that. I, I never choked her like that. I have put my hands on her plenty of times to try to keep her at bay. She's scratched my. Nobody man. has any police reports. No, I I wasn't we, gonna call. We the never called. We never called the police because when it happened in April, um, after the end, then I was like, okay, I'm fixing to leave. So I was trying to leave. But he wants to work this out. Okay, what's so, eighteen sixty four for? What's the cost? Where does that come um, from? For the three, the three months, paying half, half of the rent from he, my half and his half, and then for the month for me to move out with, um, with the thirty day notice. Your Honor, she vacate. never had a half. No more evidence from anyone. <laughs> she never. She. You I say mean, she never had a what? She, she never had a half. I paid everything. That's true. <laughs> but. If she remained there, she would have to pay. You moved when? In June? June 24th. Yeah, yeah. June 21st. Pardon? He moved June 21st. And you didn't give her notice. That's not true, Your Honor. She's not, she's not being honest about that. I told her, I told her we was leaving. She, she told me, I actually asked her to leave. She told me, I'm not leaving. I'm on this house. I'm on this lease. This our place. You leave. Is that true, ma'am? No, sir. Right here in April. Let's see. It. Before we signed the lease. <laughs> Your emotional distress is for one thousand. Correct. That's for the fighting. Yeah. In April. Okay. That's when we before we I, signed the I lease. I just didn't want to waste no more of your time nor make you any more tired. So I thought this what you want me to do is leave. You saying, you know, I have no problem saying leave. But I didn't this time. So again, it's a simple yes or no. Well, no. He is asking you to leave. No, he said, are we breaking up? And we did not break up. You know I have no problem saying leave, but I he didn't said, do it are we this breaking time. Up? So obviously he's asking you to leave repeatedly. That, that, <laughs> right. And then that's then he'll come back and say, No, let's work this out. Mm -hmm. So that's what he said yeah, in April. Like I have, uh, when I had the money in April to move, I was trying to move. <laughs> Officer who posed as a prostitute arranged for the men to go to a room in an unnamed hotel where they thought they would meet a prostitute. Instead, they met police detectives. Plaintiff Shea Fuller says while dating the defendant, he got busted trying to solicit a prostitute. Show me what it is you have to pay. Show me your name attached to some lease that requires you to pay. I also have a... Uh... Is your name on here? Yes, sir. She's on the lease and you abandoned it. I didn't just abandon it. Uh -huh. I went through the proper notification. I just Let's didn't. Ooh, what did the landlord say when you went through this? Did the landlord say you don't have to pay? No, they told me they were right. aware of the situation because I had been there several times because it was so volatile. I'm officially moved out. You, this is after you'd moved out. I had already sent the notice prior to that. Show me that. He showed. I don't have that. I do because well, it was it was a fake it. Oh, notice. You do? That, it was a fake send? notice that he sent that he signed my name to. He forged my name to. This is letter serve as a notice in sixty days. He gave sixty day notice. Correct, but I, like I said, I couldn't I couldn't take it. I couldn't. All right, keep going and this, you say this isn't your signature? No, sir. All not right, at you all. have your you have a driver's license. I sure do. Let me compare it. Yeah. And then. He say, here, I won't leave. I don't see your name under exactly. here, man. Exactly. He, he told the judge that it says yours truly. Yeah. That, thank <laughs> you. Know, yeah, you that's know, what it looks like. They know yours thank truly. You. Thank you. <laughs> he told Ma'am, I, 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 I believe everything so, he has said thank about you. you. So your he, he your claim is dismissed and so is yours. Have a good day. <laughs> I'm glad it's over with. He can go buy all the thing he want. He back, y'all. He back. <laughs> I'm glad I don't got to deal with that. That's it. Yes! Thank you. Peace. <laughs>